Hey y'all, it's Nova J Beauty here, back with another DIY hair growth recipe. Today we're going to be taking this herbal rice water that we made in my last video to make a creamy rice water deep conditioning treatment. Now if you missed that video, it will be linked in the cards above, don't worry. We'll also be using some coconut milk. Coconut milk is excellent to add to hair growth treatments as it is high in protein and moisture. Now of course we gotta add some honey, a natural humectant, and emollients. I'll tell you guys more about amazing honey later. We'll also be using some of my DIY hair growth oil. Now, I'm going to be dropping this recipe soon, so make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss that when I upload it. And some xanthan gum to thicken it and give it its creamy consistency. And we don't really need an essential oil in this, but I'm an addict, so I'm going to add one. So first you're going to take the rice water, and you're going to pour an amount that will be enough for the length and density of your hair into a bowl. Don't stress out about this part. You can always add more later if you need to, and if there's leftovers, you can refrigerate it for up to a week. Now we're gonna squeeze a generous amount of honey, probably around a tablespoon or two. Now time for the growth oil. Just add about a tablespoon of this. I'm telling y'all, the ingredients in this is gonna have your hair flourishing. Some of what I used includes coconut oil, avocado oil, turmeric, and amla. So now you wanna add about two tablespoons of the coconut milk. Coconut milk is high in vitamin C, which boosts collagen production. It's also high in vitamin E, B vitamins, and lauric acid. Now just give everything a quick stir before we add our thickening agent. Using fermented rice water on both the hair and the skin is great at fighting the signs of aging because it contains a naturally occurring substance called patera. Rice water also helps to detangle the hair Repair damage from the inside out, add shine and volume, and even kill lice. So now on to the xanthan gum. Now y'all, what you wanna do is, you wanna mix your xanthan with an oil first before you throw it into your recipe like I did, because it's gonna instantly clump up and make it hard to mix all the way through without a blender. Also, you should only be adding very small amounts at a time, checking the thickness, and then adding more from there. Xanthan gets thicker as it settles, and I was being a little bit impatient this day, but I should have waited because it kept getting thicker and thicker. Along with thickening our conditioner, the xanthan is also going to help define our curls and add slip. And here I go adding more. Oh gosh. Y'all be better than me. Don't make your job harder than it needs to be. Add your xanthan in a separate bowl to some oil or glycerin, little by little, and then mix it into your recipe so that you're not struggling like I am here. 
Also invest in a nice handheld immersion blender. They really make mixing a thousand times easier. So my conditioner was still loose in some places and clumpy in others and it just was not the consistency that I was looking for. So you know what I did to try to fix it? No, 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 no. Yeah, that's right. I added more xanthan. Xanthan is really amazing in DIY projects when used properly, but when it's not, it's really a headache. But don't worry guys, I'm gonna get this together. Just keep watching. Rice water is really my go-to when it comes to DIY hair growth treatments because it's just so easy to make. It was actually the first one I ever made. And what's fun about it is, there's so many ways to customize it. You can add different herbs, different essential oils, and there's so many different ways to use it as well. This is just one of many ways. It can also be used as a pre-poo, a rinse, a leave-in. The possibilities are endless. Like I said earlier, rice water contains patera, which is helpful in reducing the signs of aging. It is responsible for why the Yao women of China all have super dark hair, free from grays, regardless of their age. All right, time for some grapefruit essential oil. We don't really need this because my rice water already has essential oils in it, but I gotta be extra. Plus, along with smelling great, there's added benefits. Grapefruit essential oil helps to treat dandruff, strengthen hair follicles, promotes hair growth, and controls excessive sebum. It also contains a high amount of vitamin A, vitamin C, potassium, fiber, and it increases your iron absorption, which is great for those of us who are anemic because that could contribute to hair loss. Once you have used all of your rice water guys, do not throw away the leftover rice. It can be blended up and made into a rice milk treatment. So my conditioner is almost perfect, but I wanna get it just a little bit smoother and get it just a little bit more pink. So I decided to brew some hibiscus tea and add some of that to it. Hibiscus is good for strengthening the hair roots. It protects the scalp from damage. It helps treat dandruff. Adds tons of moisture to the hair. And like rice water, it keeps you from going gray. Hibiscus is also another great source of vitamin C. Hibiscus can also be taken internally. It prevents hypertension, reduces blood sugar, helps ease depression and anxiety. It aids in digestion and can help with weight loss. It's packed with all sorts of vitamins and antioxidants. So you can just make yourself a cup of tea and reap all of these benefits. The ones on the inside and the out. The warm hibiscus tea is loosening a lot of these lumps up, so we only gotta mix just a little bit longer. So you guys will come to learn that I put honey in basically every DIY recipe. And here's why. Honey is a natural humectant, which means it takes the moisture from the air and pulls it into your hair. Or skin, if that's what you're using it on. It's also an emollient, which means it smooths your hair strands. It promotes scalp cell growth, which creates the perfect environment for new hair growth. It contains vitamin C and B5, which helps make blood cells. And honey contains minerals such as iron and zinc. 
Whew, I've been stirring forever, but I'm almost there. Finally, got my conditioner perfect. Told y'all I got this. Now we're left with a creamy, super powerful deep conditioning treatment with a pretty pink color. If you're doing this without a blender, like I did, you might want to still run this through a strainer or even a stocking cap to make sure that you get all the little lumps out. I am living proof guys, rice water really does work. <laughs>